Okay, hi, it's me, Shane Dawson. Welcome to another one of my conspiracy videos. I guess I am a real live influencer now because people genuinely asked me to make another video about these fucking murder suspects. Honestly, like, one of the things that I wanted to say the most is that I dove deep into a rabbit hole and found a Facebook group and read way too many theories and stayed up way too late googling things and I feel like my mind is clouded with theories and no confirmed sightings or any actual progress in the case so that's why I was like refraining from saying anything at all. But anyways, before I dove deep into all these conspiracy theories, one of the things that I genuinely truly believed that if Cam and Briar are charged with murdering Leonard Dick, Leonard was going to go camping himself. <clears throat> It was never confirmed in the media if the RAV4 that Cam and Briar were driving was actually his that they stole or not. But one of the things that I was thinking about, if he was going camping himself, I would imagine that he had camping gear. And that the boys probably had camping gear as well. If that was actually the case, there was nothing from stopping them from from taking his camping gear because when they blew past that checkpoint and got pulled over when they were still just missing people and that the they hadn't been identified as murder suspects yet or nothing had been released on them <clears throat> uh, the officer that pulled them over said that they seemed really nervous and that they had camping gear in the back seat it never fucking said how much camping gear that they had, just that they did have some. So if when they potentially, or hypothetically, I guess, burnt the RAV4 before they snuck off into the bush, there is a possibility, I guess, that they could have left some of their supplies behind and they are able to survive in the bush because they had a lot of supplies. Other than that, as far as like the Ontario sightings and everything like that go, I am not convinced because I have read like a million articles, some claiming that they were seen swimming, some claiming that they, the arrest that was made in Sudbury was one of them being caught. Another thing that I saw was that they were, there were tips coming in that are like the same or there are tips coming in from like two different places at the same time being like, oh my God, they're here. Oh my God, they're here. And if they really did go through a construction zone and one of them flipped the bird and another one was waving a handgun and everybody had time to call the tip in, don't you think that there would have been time to take a picture or get a plate number or get any credible source of information at all? Like, since then, the OPP has released that they're staying tight-lipped about the entire situation. But if that, if they had actually been caught, I think that there would be at least some information out by now. Either, like, as far as I know, either they're fucking dead or they are the best tricky tricksters of all time. Because <clears throat> there was, like, an article on CBC yesterday that went to a video that wouldn't load and everybody was flipping the fuck out being like oh my god they were caught because it was a credible source that said that but nothing would load and a lot of people were saying like oh CBC was just preparing for if that ever did happen that they would have a website up and running that they could instantly just be like yo they were caught publish this bitch there was also a body of another teen what if somebody wanted to get groceries and how do I get groceries there was also another don't ruin my video there was also another teen that was found dead and his boat was stolen and found like a million miles away from 
where his body was found and everybody was saying, oh my God, they stole a boat, they killed another person, etc., etc. But once again, there's no proof. So I'm uncertain about what to believe right now or if they will ever be caught. If, for example, wildlife did get them or a polar bear got them or any of those theories, wouldn't there be a site of fucking carnage? I don't know. You'd think they'd be able to find it by now. Either way, I think the RCMP and the OPP and the fact that they like developed a task force to go and follow up on e all these tips, they would either have confirmation of at least them being seen somewhere because how are they driving 2,300 kilometers away and buying gas and not fucking being caught on any CCTV at all? Also, as a courier, I would like to know how, on a Walmart salary, they are able to go on such a lengthy road trip because, personally, I spend $80 on gas every fucking two days, so either they've been saving for a really long time or they're stealing, and there would be also confirmation of that. What? Okay, Tyler's saying that you steal a car that has gas and then burn it when it doesn't have gas, but there's only been two cars that have been burnt. Also, there was a video or something in Ontario where somebody had like found a white vehicle hidden in the bush and everyone's freaking out saying, oh, like this is in relation to Cam and Briar, etc. But like, once again, can we please have some fucking confirmation before we flip out? Because the RCMP said that things are getting blown out of proportion online and honestly, that's a mood. Anyways, I'm going to stop recording because my husband is judging me really hardcore. And I started doing this when he was in the shower and now I'm kind of embarrassed. XOXO. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, P.S. That is sarcasm. My husband thinks that I'm being sincere. So all 3,500 of you, don't like and subscribe. Don't follow me at all. I'm an idiot. Can, can confirm. He can confirm. We can all confirm.